yet reappointed that at least until I'm appointed in that role, I'll take over the agenda from that point forward. But you want to do the call for order and the, uh, I guess, the um, Pledge of Allegiance, and then we can go from there. Okay. And, call, and then we'll do the, the uh, once we do the, well, we, could, we could do the chairmanship now, it doesn't really matter, but technically I can't start the meeting if I'm not reappointed. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I think it needs to be by uh, someone on the board as tempor temporary chairman. That's fine. So I, mean, I, order. I, I can do that if the board agrees. I'm okay, right. fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, I guess the first thing we'll do is uh, we'll do the Pledge of Allegiance. And the meeting's called to order. And the meeting's called to order. Yes. At 3 o'clock. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Where do you want to take the roll call? Mm -hmm. Robert Dudash? Present. Daniel Frankel? Present. David Himmelman? Present. Al Musiger? Absent. Robert Cedar? Present. I'll do the sunshine notes. Mm -hmm. uh, in accordance with the old public meetings act hereby announced that shall be entered into the minutes of the meeting that adequate notice of this meeting has been provided by the clerk county administration building and remains on file at that location communicated to the home news and tribune for publication filed with the county clerk at the Middlesex county offices and remains on file for public inspection sent to those individuals who requested personal service um, i guess the first uh, action uh, formal action will be the appointment of legal counsel, which uh, the resolution has been prepared uh, with the assistance of our county counsel's office, and I thank you for that. Um, and as you know from your packet, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, appointment would be to, to recognize and appoint Anthony Vignola Esquire and the firm of Boris Holmkoli, Foley, Vignola, Hyman, and Stoll as independent counsel for the Middlesex County Ethics Board for one year uh, which would be commenced obviously January 1st of this year and terminating December 31st. And the terms of his uh, appointment and the firm's appointment are duly noted in the resolution. Um, and I'd be looking for a motion accordingly. So motion to adopt. Second. Okay, any discussion on that? If not, Bridget, would you take a roll call, please? All in favor, Dudash? Yes. Frankel? Yes. Yes. Cedar. Yes. Okay. The appointment carries, and we thank Mr. Vidal and his firm for his continued service to the ethics board. Um, the election of officers, we will need, uh, there's several officers that are noted on the agenda, and the first, uh, with the chairman, we need a motion and a second uh, for the appointment of chairman. Make a motion to appoint David Hillman as chairman. Second. Okay. Um, Bridget, do you want to take the roll call? Mm -hmm. Any discussion or? Any discussion? No. I didn't think so. Robert Dudash? Yes. yes. Daniel Frankel? Yes. David Hillman? Oh, I'm going to stay. Oh, yes. And uh, Mr. Cedar? Yes. Terrific. Thank you very much. Look forward to another year and thank you for the confidence. Uh, next, we will uh, entertain uh, a motion for vice chairman. Uh, do I have a motion for vice chair? Not vice chair. Do you want to do it? Okay, that's just this one. Okay, I'll make they will be here all the time, so it's no problem. Right. You want to nominate Bob? Oh, she did. Yeah. Okay, I will second that. Any other? Any discussion? Okay. okay. Uh, no discussion. We will have a roll call, please. Robert Dudash. Yes. Daniel Frankel. Yes. David Hillman. Yes. Mr. Cedar. Same. Same. Thank you for your confidence. You're welcome. There. Okay. Uh, next would be a uh, nominations uh, for the secretary. Uh, Dan, you want to? I can't nominate. No, I mean, would you? I'll, I'll nominate uh, Dan, Daniel Frankel as uh, secretary to the ethics board. Do I have a second? Second. Okay, any discussion? Fine. Roll call, please, Bridget. Mr. Dudash? Yes. Mr. Frankel? Stay. 
Mr. Himmelman? Yes. Mr. Cedar? Yes. Great, thank you. Um, next on the agenda is the approval of the minutes of the June 21st, 2016. Um, and I believe uh, we're all eligible except for Al, obviously he's not here, so. Um, do I have a motion to approve those minutes which are provided for in your packet? So moved. I will, okay. Go ahead, I'll second. Terrific, okay. Uh, any other discussion on the minutes? Any corrections, deletions? Okay. Um, Bridget, thank you. Would you do roll call? Mr. Dudash? Yes. Mr. Frankel? Yes. Mr. Himmelman? Yes. Mr. Cedar? Yes. Uh, next is Robert's Rules of Order. And I guess there's a resolution on that, correct, Bridget? Yes. Um, that we uh, debate in accordance and operate according to the Robert's Rules of Order pursuant to the proposed resolution. Do I have a motion to accept? Robert's motion. Rules of Order. Motion to accept. I will second that. Any discussion? Okay, roll call please. Mr. Dudash? Yes. Mr. Frankel? Yes. Mr. Himmelman? Yes. Mr. Cedar? Yes. Okay, um, next is uh, approval of the time and date of our ethics, ethics board meeting, which obviously is today, and then we have June 6th and December 5th of 2017. Uh, do I have a motion to accept those dates and time of our meeting? I'll make a motion. I'll second. Okay, okay fine. I need discussion. Yes. June 6th is a primary. Ah, that's okay. true. Okay. So. For now. Okay. Okay. Well, I think it's not good for any of us. No, I agree. Primary. So you want, can we change that? Tuesday, June 13th. The next fine. Tuesday. That's fine with me. Does that work, everyone? Fine with me. Okay, great. So with that correction, uh, so we'd be, it would be, well obviously today, the next meeting would be June 13th, Tuesday, and then December 5th, Tuesday, 2017. Okay, so take a roll call on that. Mm -hmm. Mr. Dudash? Yes. Mr. Frankel? Yes. Mr. Himmelman? Yes. Mr. Cedar? Yes. Terrific. Um, next is old business. Is there any old business or anything anybody would like to discuss? Bridget, we don't have any old business, correct? No. Okay. Um, new business and correspondence. Do we have any new business and correspondence? I didn't think so. Um, any additional actions by the board? Anything that anyone would like to discuss? Um, okay, I see we have members of the public, so before we adjourn the meeting, I'm going to open up the meeting for uh, public discussion. If you would just identify your name and address for us, that would be great. Certainly, thank you, Mr. Hemelman. My name is Charles Cradville. I'm uh, the editor of a community newspaper in New Brunswick today. I'm a resident of New Brunswick, live in the second ward here, and uh, I'll try to be brief with my comments. I'm a little disappointed that uh, you didn't follow up with my concerns about the county prosecutor's financial disclosure statements. I would figure that might show up under old business. It's probably documented in your meeting minutes from June 21st. I believe I presented you with a copy of an article in New Brunswick today and asked you to look into whether or not the county prosecutor, Mr. Andrew Carey, has uh, violated the uh, local government ethics law and the county code of ethics. I have for everybody here a, uh, another article that follows up uh, titled, County prosecutor on his alleged ethics violations, quote, no comment. And this is, uh, 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 makes this an even more disturbing story that the county prosecutor is not willing to defend his position or explain whether or not he believes he is complying with the law. Uh, I also would like to raise a concern about the person you have hired to be your Hold attorney. Hold on, before you get to that, let me address the first question. Sure. Um, I don't recall, I remember at the June meeting we discussed there was a complaint that had been filed that was that that uh, Mr. McGill's office had uh, made a recommendation uh, that I believe that complaint was filed by you, correct? Uh, not regarding Andrew Carey. No, 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 no. no but no, yes, no. there was a complaint filed. Right. Yes. So that at the, I recall at the June meeting we discussed that matter. I don't see anything. I don't recall any discussions about the 
prosecutor issue. I don't know. Did you, did, have you, did you file a formal complaint? No, sir. I okay. just wanted to draw your attention to the article, and I was hopeful that the Ethics Board would take action without well, the need for The only way we could take action is if there's a formal complaint that's filed. So we're not in the purview, unfortunately, of uh, – we're not an investigatory body without – the only way we can do that is by way of complaint. So if – I'm not suggesting or advocating you do that, but procedurally, that's the way we operate. Understood. And so I do have uh, concerns regarding Mr. Vignolo's reappointment. Um, first of all – There's uh, no time. May I have another yeah, minute? Right. Thank you. Uh, so first of all, he's not here today, correct? And unless he's, he's not here, changed his appearance. I'm here on his Mr. behalf, Mr. Fox Fox firm. And, and your name, sir? Stephen Fox, FOX. Stephen Fox from Boris Golden. That's correct. Golden. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm installed. Okay. Um, so uh, I'll point out, uh, and I, I do have a notarized uh, official complaint here that uh, points out that Mr. Vignola was appointed to serve as the attorney at your reorganization meeting last year, January 26. And uh, he was not present at that meeting either, but he uh, again had a, a, a representative of his law firm, another attorney there, to accept the position on his behalf. And that Mr. Vignolo uh, then failed to file a financial disclosure form as required by the local government ethics law prior to the April 30th deadline last year. He failed to file, he still has not filed. And uh, he did indeed participate in a subsequent June 21st, 2016 public meeting, the one you just approved the minutes of. Uh, I believe he was there, and I believe we did have some discussion there. And uh, it's come to my attention that he still has not filed a financial disclosure form, and that puts him in a very bad position to be an ethics board attorney. Um, the uh, ethics board, of course, is supposed to hold others accountable regarding compliance with this requirement of filing financial disclosure statements. I will point out the Edison Township ethics attorney filed uh, financial disclosure form, the Old Bridge Township. Uh, ethics board attorney filed, uh, and uh, of all the other attorneys that are currently serving as ethics board attorneys in Middlesex County, the only one who hasn't filed is New Brunswick's ethics board attorney, which is Anthony Mignolo. So he stands alone in Middlesex County as the only currently serving ethics board attorney to not meet the requirements of the local government ethics law. It's a very low bar. You have to file a form once a year. And he has not done that. So I'm filing, uh, I guess I have a notarized copy here for, for you, and I also do have copies for everyone else. Um, well, a, a couple of things. Number one, I, I, I recognize you filed a complaint, and obviously I'll be dealt with it in a Of course, uh, my understanding is that uh, the county council's office, uh, which issue and I we have asked them to make a determination if in fact Mr. Vignolo is required under the ethics law to file financial disclosure I presume that that will be done in due course but uh, I don't think there's any intent in any way shape or form for him or his firm not to comply with the requirements under the disclosure statute so uh, it's either going to be a thumbs up or a thumbs down and based upon the ruling we get from the county council's office that will be the determination of and Mr. Vignola will rely. Beyond that, I'm not sure what to say. And, and, and more importantly, what we've done now also is we've appointed Mr. Vignola and his law firm as the uh, attorneys for the ethics board in the eventuality that Mr. Vignola is not able to make the meeting. It could be someone from his firm. I understand. I just submit that nothing uh, has been done to cure the violation. Well, and uh, I don't Mr. Vignola, if he wanted to, today could file. Uh, the, the financial disclosure statement so folks could understand where he gets his money from and whether or not he has conflicts of interest. I think certainly it would be a conflict of interest for Mr. Vignola or his firm to be involved in the disposition of this complaint in any way. Um, and uh, just to uh, uh, clear up on page 15 of the paper I just gave you, you can find that article regarding the county prosecutor. I'll consider uh, filing a complaint against him. And uh, I, I don't believe it was. Was Mr. Dudash, is he a new member of the board? I am. Yes. Mr. Okay, so I'll also give you a copy of the original article that I shared with the with you folks uh, last June. And uh, I thank you for your time. I hope that the Ethics Board is more active this year and has more meetings 
Uh, I, I think that uh, just two meetings last year was uh, not enough. I thank you for the opportunity to speak. I thank you for, for evaluating my complaint last year, and I hope you'll, you'll uh, um, properly handle any complaints that come forward this year and consider having uh, more public meetings and having them at times that are more convenient for the public to participate. Obviously, 3 p.m., not the best time to uh, get the public uh, interested in the work of the Ethics Board. And I think you do have a noble purpose, and I think that uh, um, the county has a long way to go here, and, and you can be a part of making the county better. I hope to work with you in that respect, and thank you again for the time. Okay. Thank, thank you, Julio, and thank you for your time. Thank you. Anyone else in the public like to speak? Make a motion we close the public portion? Yes, I would. Uh, motion to close the public portion. Second. Okay. Uh, we don't need that? Or you don't need to I don't think so. Uh, any other dis issues or discussions the board would like to do? What's that? I just wanted to, if you don't mind, Mr. Chairman, just wanted to um, thank all of you for the opportunity to be part of the Essex Board. I look forward to working with all of you uh, over the next year. And uh, thank you for Bridget for making me feel very welcome <laughs> and getting me on board. Um, so I was ready to go for today's meeting. So thank you for that opportunity. And I was going to, you stole the thunder, and I was going to welcome you to the board. And uh, we think it's great when uh, you volunteer your time. And Hopefully it'll be uh, a productive year. That's true. Uh, with that said, uh, Mr. Fox, would you like to add anything? Or you're Just that the firm and, and uh, would like to thank for the reappointment and we look forward to working with the board. Very good. Sure. Likewise. Uh, with that, I will have entertain a motion to adjourn the meeting. Motion. I'll second that. I don't think we need a roll call. Okay. Thank you very much.